found the flame jewel. We are all finished here. Not going. I'm definitely not going to KO Oblivion this part because I have to conserve my periods. But um, we'll see what the next dungeon is or town, because I think town, the rest of them are optional. Like probably Yume is gonna come because we haven't got her yet. We'll see what happens. Spiritual concentration. Let's do it. Definitely, definitely Yume. I remember Yume's story is like with the Lapis, Lapis Lazul or something like that. Send someone up for chapter four, right? Be real, I don't remember. I'm gonna be real, I really don't remember. But um, no, I don't think I did. Did I? Let's see. I sent Janus for three. Or was Janus now? Huh? I don't really remember. Let's see. Laywell and ba Bellinus, I sent. I don't think I did. I think I didn't. Oh, I think I did because I had to have done it before the chapter began. But who did I send? I don't remember who I sent. I have June right here. I think it was him. Couldn't have been. Bellinus, Labelin, I sent. But who- and Janus. Am I missing something? Who could I have sent for chapter 4? Hold up. Who did I... Ugh, I'm so confused. Who did I send up in Chapter 4? I'm literally about to look up the Unharriar. I just do not remember. I apologize. I'm taking so many breaks. But I just don't remember who I sent up Chapter 4 if I even sent someone. Does June have good hero value? I think I was going to send up June, and I didn't. No. Was I about to, and I didn't? I have to go back to my videos and check. Let me do that. Because honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember who I sent up. Wait, no, I have it on my computer. One second. I sent up Cashel. <laughs> I totally forgot about Cashel. Okay, so I sent someone up. I'm good. I sent Cashel up. I did not remember that, but you know what? That's fine. Let's go to um Hylon visit. Let's go to Yume. It was Hylon, right? I want to save it first in case I'm wrong. Probably down I'm wrong, but in case I'm wrong, you never know. I could be wrong. It is possible. I am wrong sometimes. So you know what? Save up. And then, um, yeah. We'll, um, get Yume. So it was Cashel. I totally forgot about Cashel. That's who I sent up. So I'm good. I sent someone up already. What a high lawn so much. 
There's like what four characters in Hylon? There's probably a lot more in like other towns. I hope this isn't a bad idea. But how do I know it's the right ship? This is pointless. We're not going to catch anything today. The Bonito are a bit late this year. What's wrong? Dad, did you hear someone yell? What? You're in the middle of the ocean. Listen, there it is again. Help me. H-E-L-P. I think that's what spell, right? Yeah, she's trying to spell it. What? Is this somebody going to respond to my cries? Or is that a ghost ship only skeletons ride? You okay? Yes. You surprised me, kid. What are you doing out here? You could have drowned. My ship. It sank. It sank? What happened to the others? Where are the other survivors? I don't know. So, what's your name? Yume. It means dream. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I don't know why I, I don't remember catching that. I barely remember. I remember little bits and pieces of the character stories, but not much. Uyuki, why are you so quiet? Huh? I just, um... Um... Well, anyway, looks like we won't catch anything today. So shouldn't we head back to the port? Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Do you know what a lapis is? Lapis? You mean a lapis lazuli? The gemstone? That's right. But this isn't a normal one. It's special. Ah, you mean the cerulean lapis. Yeah, I know about it. Any sailor worth his salt does. So, it's true that I grant to wishes. If only I could find one. I hate to break it to you, little girly. But if it doesn't really exist, just another wives' tale. Sorry, lassie. Didn't mean to upset you. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. The Cerulean Lapis is a myth. But if that's true... What was that? You don't know? It's the o the Oozu. <laughs> I, I probably butchered that, I bet. The o No, I said it right. Well, you know, I actually said it right. When the current shift, the sea can turn into a giant whirlpool. The tremble you felt was just a ship changing course. There's nothing to worry about. I believe in the Cerulean Lapis. Huh? I heard you talking to my father. My father's growing old, and he's lost the ability to hope and dream. But I still believe the Lapis is real. Do you think I'm silly? No. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe in it too. That's good. Because you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. Fuyuki, if you found the Cerulean Lapis, what would you wish for? Um... Well, our ship is in pretty bad shape, so I guess I wish for a new one. The finest one in all of Hylon. What about you? Me? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I see. Miss, you asked us to take you to this town. But now you say you have nowhere to go. I'm sorry to nag, but may I ask why you wanted to come here? Honestly, I wasn't trying to hide anything. I came here... To see my father. Your father? That's right. What's his name? Oh, 
Bi Junko. Oh. You don't mean Shogun Ko. You know him? Everyone knows of Shogun Ko and his family. I don't mean to be rude, but are you the child of one of his mistresses? I only ask because, well, I assume that a family member would have known. A Shogun Ko is dead. Do you know of the war between Hylon and the Merfolk? It ended only a few years ago. Shogun Ko was commanding the navy against the Merfolk. In the midst of battle, he fell overboard. There was no time to save him, and everyone assumed he had drowned. But miraculously, he later washed ashore alive and well. He was a changed man after that. The Shogun worked tirelessly to make peace with the Merfolk and to end the war. He was a war hero who became a legendary peacemaker. But his efforts took their toll and he succumbed to illness a few years ago. The whole nation mourned his passing. He was a great man. So, the reason she wanted the lapis was so she could see her father. Guess she didn't feel comfortable telling him. Why did you may lie to me? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Why would she lie? I wonder. I'm sorry, Yume, but I couldn't find anyone by the name of Ko. Why did you say it? Oh, never mind. She, she, I guess she told him. Thank you for trying. Never mind. I guess she told him. Oh, it was no problem. I'd like to help any way I can. Well, there's no point in searching anymore. Why not? Don't you want to see your father? Don't give up. The lapis. I know it's real. You said you'd try to believe in it. There is no cerulean lapis. What? But you may. There is no lapis, and my father is dead. You may. It doesn't matter anymore. Please just leave me alone. Wait, where are you going? You may. Damn, she's fast. Is that the direction of the shore? Surely she doesn't intend to kill herself. That noise. It's the Ooze. Ooze. <laughs> I said it wrong. Don't mind me. You may? Are you surprised? I'm not human. I... I didn't. You should get away from the shore. Yozu will be here soon. What about you? You wanted the Cerulean Lapis so that you could see your father. I'm disappointed. It looks like you didn't trust me when all I wanted to do was help. That's why I searched the whole city for information about the Lapis. You're wrong. Huh? It's true that I wanted to see my father, but as that isn't the thing I would have wished for. Then why? My mother. She died recently. Ever since my mother bore me, a child of human, she's been ostracized by the other merfolk. Even when she died, no one mourned her. I couldn't cry. Whenever I wanted to cry, everyone would glare at me with those cold eyes. And I just... Couldn't do it. But it was more than just that. That was a really slow dialogue, so that's why I was holding it. I didn't smile when I was happy. I didn't cry when I was sad. What I didn't realize was that I had given up on living uh, living entirely. I was such a fool. At the very least, I wanted to make my father cry. My wish for the Lapis would have been for my father, mother, and me to have been able to live together as a family. But it's not fair. Now they get to be together without me. Oh, that's what 
this is about. Yume, please don't do this. Goodbye, Fuyuki. I'm sorry I lied to you. That's actually kind of sad. You get an FMV for this? Yo, unheard of. Wow, Yume's story is actually pretty sad now looking at it. Now experiencing it, it actually is pretty sad. It gets me. It really gets me every time. But you know, it really gets me. I feel like I'm going to use Yume for my party, maybe. I never really use Yume as a mage. Maybe I'll consider. I couldn't cry. Whenever I wanted to cry, everyone would just glare at me. I wouldn't be able to. But it was more than just that. I was such a fool. I feel like I just read this, but I read it again just for the sake of the game. I was a fool too. Why didn't I stop her? I mean, you tried. Could've tried a little harder, but you tried. What? What's this? When the cerulean gem is in a young man's palm, when two strangers have spoken their hearts, and when two hearts have connected as one kingdom hearts right here, then the legend has truly been reborn. I, I am just crazy with these. I always bring up kingdom hearts. Whenever I hear a heart, it's my... Every time I hear heart, kingdom hearts comes into my mind. The legend of the cerulean lapis. Yo, it's Ash. To be together? Should I wish for Yume's safety? It's Ash, catch him. The voice. That's it. But what was it that you may wish for? Yo, this gets me. Straight up, that's Ash Ketchum. I wish that you may is able to be with her parents again. There are a lot of Pokemon voices in this game. This game has a lot of people from the Pokemon anime voicing the characters. It's kind of like very, it's very jarring when I hear people that I grew, I grew up with the Pokemon anime. Because he loved her, he wishes for her. Yeah, love is complicated. You wouldn't predict that, but it is. Not like Lennon would know. His wish will be granted. I do not know if this girl will prove worthy of Valhalla. I'm sure she will. Oh. But as promised, they will be together. Of course they will. She'll be useful. And they will be together. Yo, that that's like one of the best Ein Harrier backstories. He did not calm. Yume did not return. But the boy sat patiently. And stared at the ocean. It's like I'm reading a poem. That's literally what it feels like. Obviously, this is my first time reading aloud the Valkyrie Profile's backstory, so, you know. His wish was granted. Oh, great. But there was no proof of this. Yeah, how would Fuyuki know? That's the only thing that makes me, that makes me kind of sad, honestly. That Fuyuki would never know that the wish was granted. I believe in the Cerulean Lapis. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe in it, too. 
That's good, because you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. You just gotta believe it worked. That's all you can do. And so, Fuyuki well, decided to believe once again. To believe that Yume was happy together with her family forevermore. Yeah, that's all I can really do. You know, it'd be that way. 